Well, hello there, Teen Droid TV. Welcome to a review of the Cruiser Light Andy Multiplied case for the Galaxy Nexus. Um, I've been using this case for about a week now since I brought you guys that unboxing video, and I think I have enough of an idea of how this case works, how it functions, how it feels, to give you guys a full conclusive review. So, without further ado, let's get going. Um, welcome to the review of the Cruiser Light Andy Personified case for the Galaxy Nexus. Okay, and right off the bat here, let's just take a quick rundown of the case, its features. So it gets a whole bunch of cutout ports for the volume rocker, camera, microphone. Over here we got the power jack and the pogo pins. On the bottom we have the headphone jack and microphone and the micro USB connector. Overall, like I said in my first impressions, the case feels very soft, it's malleable, it's not like hard plastic, it won't snap. But one of the things that I really, really, really liked about this case as I used it was that it's just, it's so soft. It just, I don't know how to explain it. Like with this one, this is an Android, Androidified A2 case. It just, maybe it's partly because it's this clear finish or maybe it's because there's this matte Andy, Andy guy here. It just doesn't feel very soft. Whereas with this one, um, it's just, it feels really, really soft. It's a silicone or a TPU case. I really can't find another way to describe the feeling of it other than soft and it just feels great in the hand it does it's not slippery though so it doesn't like just slide out of your hand it'll it'll stay in it and so I, I really like that and so let me just really quickly put it on the phone that is a really nice plus about these TPU cases that, is that they're super easy to go on whereas with some of those other other cases like um, otter boxes it's just it's ridiculous how hard it is to get them on and off so anyways as you can see here it the phone is not very slippery this is like an almost 90 degree angle and the phone is still not slipping but now it is but that's all right because I've got this case to protect it I probably bumped the camera there sorry guys um so as for things I, I mean I really really like it it fits good and I may I, I should mention that this is the Galaxy Nexus with an extended battery so that instead of a default 1750 milliamp hour battery that is a 2100 milliamp hour battery so if I Put this on. You'll see that everything is still accessible. All the ports um, work fine. One thing that I noticed right off the bat when I was using this is that it's a little bit easier to hit the buttons on the Andy Personified than on the Androidified A2. I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, it just felt easier to hit the buttons on this one than it did over here. So that's a real nice plus. This is just a really nice case. But I mean, there there are just two things I don't like about this case. One is that it's a little bit easy to get dings on. Now honestly, if I get really close up, there are no scratches, nothing. They're just these tiny little nicks. Now there's no, I mean, I'm not saying that this case is bad because of it. it doesn't spoil the case, but I mean, I mentioned how I loved how soft the case was. Well, I mean, these little nicks, they just get on there and they kind of, not really spoil, but they affect how, how soft and nice it feels because they're just these little nicks on there that I mean you just can't get rid of them it's alright I mean they're still it's still a great case feels great in the hand even so but it's just those little nicks they're there I mean and the only other thing is that obviously it's not gonna have any under there right now but if it gets some any dirt in there up on the top here under this ledge it'll stay under there it traps the dirt and sometimes when I take this off looks like someone like dragged it through some dust or something because there's just dust around the volume dust around oop, don't want to unlock the phone. Dust around the power button, dust around the pogo pins, dust down here. Oop, Google now. Oops. <laughs> and so, I mean, it's alright. I mean, it doesn't really affect the case too much. It doesn't really affect my opinion of the case very much. It's just a little bit, mm, it's something to take into consideration. If you're like a dust freak and you don't like dust, you don't like dirt, then you're going to want to clean these very often. And I have heard some things where, well, I mean, not about this case in specific, but like with cases in general where if there's dirt under there and you try to like remove it wrong, I usually take it off like that. Like if you just maybe like scooch the case around while it's on the device, like try and move it, it can like actually like scratch the phone. I haven't seen that obviously. My GNX is in actually pretty perfect condition, thankfully. And this case helps that. It's a it's it's pretty nice. I mean I would be totally confident just going and just tossing the GNX on the table. I mean, it's got a little bit of a tabletop lip here. 
where you can drop it straight on the screen. No damage done. What if I picked it up and it was just cracked? That'd be the worst demonstration in the world. But see, I'm confident enough to do that because this case, it just it's it's a good deal. Um so of course the link for this case will be down in the description. Thank you again for Cruiser Light for sending me this case. Overall it's it, it's fifteen bucks at Cruiser Light, so it's a great deal. If you're looking for a case that's not one of the like the super bulky tank ones like Outer Box Commuter series, those kinds, don't get those. If you want something for cheap that's just really high quality, these are great cases. Check out these. They're both around twenty or fifteen to twenty dollars on cruiserlight.com. Of course, the link will be down in the description. And so please show Cruiser Light your love. Go check them out. Thanks again to them for sending me this awesome case. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this review. I would recommend this to pretty much anyone as long as they're not a super heavy phone abuser and want one of those. They probably want one of those huge tank cases or something with like a huge extended battery just to, I guess, muffle the blow. But anyways, it's it's a great case. I think pretty much everyone would enjoy it unless you're not a fan of like really Andy visuals. I mean, I am because I love Android and I didn't even mention the back. It's... It's Andy. It's in. It's the Android robot on the back, and he looks awesome. And there are tons of them. They're coming in from the top. They're coming in from the bottom. There's this one white one. Kind of looks like that one, right there. But it looks awesome as well. In addition to feeling super soft. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the review. Please like, comment, rate, and hit that subscribe box up there. It really helps our channel out. Also, please feel free to go over to the new site and read any of our various articles that we have put up there today. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Peace.